mean, what can you say? Um, I mean, this guy is the most disgusting human being that I know besides Nancy Pelosi. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Are you serious that now he's going to try to come up, come and say that because of his directives that Osama bin Laden is dead? We have nobody that we can look at and all of the pictures that they have in all of these newspapers come to find out that they were photoshopped, you know, and edited to make it look like o o Osama's face. Man, you know what? This, this has got to be the biggest joke besides this big conspiracy uh, of how this, uh, this government has, has just exploited the American people for centuries. I mean... This is, the, this is just the most ridiculous thing that, I, that I've ever heard of. And I actually took the opportunity to sit there and look. I wanted to look in this man's face while he was telling this lie. He stumbled quite a bit. He could not help it. This is, this is the most diabolical human being that ever there was besides Satan and, and George Soros. I mean, that there are actually people that are, that are, are, are rejoicing and, and that actually believe this, this crock of shit is beyond me. I just, I just don't understand how anybody can believe anything that comes out of this man's mouth or out of his administration's mouth. You know, here you got um, Benazir Bhutto uh, told, told us that this guy named Saeed Shaikh is the man that killed Osama bin Laden in 2007. You know, I mean, what, what, what is it going to take? This guy, he knows that he's losing to Donald Trump, the chump, the hump, the bump, another piece of shit. Who, who's only uh, 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 causing life right now is, is to just disrupt everything with his stupidness and his stupidity. I mean, yeah, we already know that everything that Obama has ever presented to the people is a crock of shit. All right? This new birth certificate that all of a sudden that he comes up with and now he wants to show it this time, you know... Let's put it to you this way. If you go to the, to the Hawaiian Department of Health Vital Statistics uh, website, it tells you that amend, amended birth certificates can be uh, received by uh, people in Hawaii. They were born in Hawaii and people from a foreign country. And, you know, not that that matters anyway because the United States is, an, is, an, is a corporation. That's their CEO. They can put whoever the hell they want in, in, in charge as the CEO. It's just that the, the American people are too stupid to believe that we don't really elect presidents. But now I'm getting off the subject, okay? The fact that this man can stand up on national television and, and with a straight face claim that because of his supervision that Osama is dead, uh, we don't get to see his body because they throw it in the water because he says nobody would want it. Or that, or that if he buried it somewhere, then it, was, it would cause up unrest and rallies and all this other crap. They say that they got the DNA. We're, we're really supposed to believe you guys. We're really supposed to believe that you got the DNA that you retrieved from his sons or daughters three or five years ago. And you're able to, 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 to put it with this dead body and say that it's Osama. I don't believe it. I don't believe not one word of it. You can call me whatever the hell you want to. I don't believe it. This man is trying to use any type of histrionics, anything, whoever the dead person is, if there really is a dead person, I'm sorry for their family that, that he was sacrificed to make it look like it was Osama bin Laden. But you got the, the price of oil is high. People are, take, are hating his guts. His own party's turning against him. I mean, what is he going to come up with? Now he's the savior of the world for real. He is really now the savior of the world because, because of him, <laughs> the, 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 the number one enemy of the entire world is dead, so now everybody's going to get praise and glory to Obama. Wow. I mean, I want to know how much the, the Pope and the Vatican and the Jesuit priests and the Zionists are paying this piece of shit. I mean, because this guy is the best ever. You know, once we kick his ass out and we, do, and we restore the de jure governments, that's the only thing that's going to get rid of all of this corruption that's going on, is the de jure governments because it is the only lawful government. Right now we're under the Constitution for the United States of America. You go and look up Paddleford, Fay and Company, it tells you that the private person does not have a right to claim that, th that there is a breach of this Constitution that we're under. Go look it up. It's not what Rayman says. This is a court case where they said that the, that, 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 um, the private person, we can't claim uh, any rights to the Constitution. 
because this is a corporate constitution. They're operating under the, the Uniform Commercial Code, Public Law, Roman Cult Law, Talmudic Law, Babylonian Law, Mammon Law. Whatever you want to call it, this is what these guys are operating under. Equity, Admiralty, Maritime Law, all of them. No longer private law, so we don't have a right to this, pe to this constitution because this constitution is for the corporations, it's for commerce. And it doesn't deal with the real world. It doesn't deal with you and I as flesh and blood individuals It deal or living souls. It deals with fictional entities. Okay? I'm telling you, I'm going to leave some links for you guys to go look up. You got to know that this is all just another ploy. Osama, how in the hell is he in the, in the middle of Pakistan in, 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 in this fortress that everybody knows that he's there and you mean to tell me it took us nine years to go get him and he's been there all this time? Or a few years after he evaded uh, our capture the first time, supposedly. This is such bullshit. I damn. Uh, and there's people that really but still believe. What the hell is wrong with you people? Why are you still believing anything that comes out of this man's mouth? Obama, Obama is a pathological liar. He'll do whatever the hell he has to do and say whatever he has to say so that he'll get back in favor with his own party. And now, yeah, now this is every reason to keep, to keep Gitmo open because they, the, the, the leak came from inside Gitmo, man. This is so, just bullshit. God damn, we're so fucking tired of this man. What the hell? I mean, he really thinks that we're so stupid that we will actually fall for this. Nobody, but we're supposed to believe that because of you and your directives and your leadership, you sack of shit. That Osama bin Laden is dead somewhere. In the ocean somewhere. Like the Muslims would have really allowed that to happen. Man, you know what? I can't even be bothered. That's how come I don't even come on really to, to comment anymore because some of the stuff is so absurd. It's so beyond the pale. It, 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 it's, it's so ridiculous. And then I can't believe how many people are crying and, and laughing and rejoicing that this man is dead. Knowing that every word that has come out of this black lip fucker has been a lie. Everything. Everything. Why is anybody wanted, um, trying to find out why the hell he was using a, a, a Connecticut Social Security number this time around? Whatever happened to the young man, uh, Lieutenant uh, Quarles Harris, Q-U-A-R-L-E-S Harris, excuse me, who, who saw uh, Obama's uh, original passport along with the other candidates in 2008, and then sometime uh, before he, he was supposed to uh, report to the, the, the grand jury or whoever to tell whatever he saw, he was killed. Nobody ever followed that up. You know, this is some real bullshit. What about the fact that Nancy Pelosi sent off two different uh, certif certifications of nomination? Huh? To the, to, the, uh, to the Hawaii people, she sends off one saying that Obama and, and, and Biden are, are um, um, legally qualified under the provisions of the United States of the uh, uh, Constitution, but to the other 49 states, they just said he's duly nominated. And how come the, 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 the Hawaii Democratic Party, they didn't nominate him. If you go look over what their, what their certificate of nomination said, it never says that they were duly nominated. And it never says that they were uh, uh, um, uh, uh, certified under the provisions of the United States Constitution, which is their constitution anyway. It's not ours. It's not the original one. It's not the organic one. It was Judge Harlan Marshall uh, that said that there are two national governments that exist. One is to be maintained by the Constitution with all of its restrictions, and the other one is to be maintained by Congress outside of and independently of that instrument. That tells us that there's two national governments. Congress is running one, and the de jure governments, which the Supreme Court has said still exist, but the people fail to occupy the offices are still there waiting for us to occupy the offices so that we can reinstitute our Constitution, the organic Constitution. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody else that wants to continue to have the benefits and, and abide up under this admiralty and, and slave law, let them. Don't even, I don't even argue with those fools anymore. They're non-factors. Okay? Those are the ones that we should be feeding napalm sandwiches and injecting their ass with some of that Fukushima uh, 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 radiation, radiation water or radioactive water, whatever the hell. I'm so angry that people are still believing in this man. What the hell is wrong with us? Restore the de jure governments. I don't want to hear shit else. Anybody else is talking about being the president? Holy Kane, Uncle Sam ass. Uh, 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 what's his name? West, Uncle Sam ass. Uh, what, what the hell are you going to do? What are you going to do? When, when we got Bill Clinton is telling us that by the time a person becomes a leader, somebody else is making 